Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. And I'm on another, I'm, I'm, I'm at a different spot right now. I'm normally over there, but now I'm over here because uh, we got me, and I'm, uh, this is Lockdown University, another lesson chat. Uh, this is IQ, bailing your teammates out, and just trying generally to not lose games. But this happens, and when you get a teammate that just can't play defense, there are things that you can do to keep the score close and to keep them in the game. I'm gonna show you right here an instance of this. Right here, neither one of my teammates are playing defense. I don't know who's supposed to be where, we got Beast Mode on the left side. His guys are pure sharp running wide open. Or sharp shooting shot creator, one of the most broken deals in the game. And then we got uh, the other fellow, man. I, I, I don't know what he's doing. I can see right here, he's beat. They're both beat. I'm the only one that's not beat. So, Lockdown University 101. Most dangerous man on the court is the man with the ball. You all know this right um beast mode is running toward his guy he should be able to make up that ground even if he passes the ball with the way that the passing lanes are right now he's gonna knock that ball down he is he, no way he's gonna make that pass so most dangerous man with the ball stop ball find the shooter and then you go basket so right here i stopped the ball i don't know what he's doing bro what is he doing why is he running to the inside he should be running diagonally toward the end line to cut his guy off because I'm helping, I'm hedging. Okay, his guy stops. I'm gonna hit space bar. His guy stops right here. He's just so lost, he doesn't know what to do. He still doesn't know what to do. I know he's gonna cross him over. He's dead. Look at how intensely I'm looking. Boy, look how intense I'm looking. What is this? I know, I know some beep, some BS about to happen. He crosses him over. I guess he got his ankle broke. Yeah, he did get his ankle broke. Look, oh, he just reached. I don't know why he reached. Right here, I know he's beat. I use all 160 of my IQ genius intellect. I am a certified genius. I have been a certified genius since I was six years old. And look at what happens next. Pass! I got the pass over there. Look at the look of disgust on my face. But do you know what just happened, ladies and gentlemen? I'm gonna run it back one more time so y'all can see in real time what just happened. That dude just drained the three and I know he's mad because of what I did right here. Pass, not right there, right here. I see at this point in time that he's beat. And because you were in Lockdown University, this is something that we went over the other day too, if you were in class number one. If somebody gets beat and he's dead to the he's dead to rights, dead to the world, nothing he can do. I have no fouls. I said, I don't know if you're gonna be able to foul off the ball in park and make them check the ball up. Because that's what I would do in certain situations. And right here, look at me. I know he's beat. I'm gonna foul my man. Boom. And he got a takeover too, so I know he's gonna hit the shot. File my man. Personal foul, J. Easy. The ball is up. The ball is in. But it doesn't count. Watch, watch, watch. They have to take the ball back out. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. When in doubt, if you've got fouls to give, if somebody gets beat, just go ahead and foul the man. This guy had takeover. He was getting ready to bait my guy. But because I got 160 IQ, I say, wait a minute. Are you serious? He's going to get beat. He reaches. Fouling. The ball is still in his hand. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. I should get a grade. My grade should go up for that. I actually, it says personal foul. My grade went down to something. I'm sorry. I'm too zoomed in on the screen. It says personal foul and my grade went down. My grade should actually go up for that. You would get an A in LD, in any LDU class for this. Lockdown University class, you would get this. This is a secret to playing defense 
this is why they're five fouls in the park or whatever. Because people would do that all day. Every time you got beat, I would just foul off the ball. I definitely would do it. If I saw my man get beat and I'm stuck to my man, I'd just foul him off the ball. So that's what I did here. Like I said, you know, you the way that they got the park set up, you can only foul in certain situations uh, because you only got a certain number of fouls. In situations like that where you just get beat, um, if they set double screens up top a lot and it's a key point in the game, you know, stuff like that. If you are the center, it is not only your duty, but I feel it is your obligation to either foul the center to to disrupt that screen up top or foul him because that guy's wide open on a wrap. Now, people don't get wide open on wraps too often in the game, so I'm, I'm figuring, you know, if they get super wide open on a wrap and they glitching back and forth or something like that, or like I said, it's a pivotal point in the game. Just foul your man off the ball. Like I said, we went through this at Lockdown University. We said, are you going to be able to foul off the ball? Because I definitely will use it to my advantage. Well, because you guys are enrolled in Lockdown University, you get to see firsthand that you can foul off the ball in key situations when your teammates don't know what they're doing. What are they doing? Nobody's guarding anybody. This guy's a pure, this guy is a pure sharp. Why is he being left open? Anyway, so, hey, he's left open. He's dead. I got to save the game like Luigi, brother. Foul him. Jay Easy fouls him. I know he's pissed. But hey, it is what it is. Let me show you what happened right after that, though, because, I mean, obviously he ain't going to be too pissed. Because when you got bad teammates, bro, this, I mean, we got team like, like, like when they don't know how to play. People don't just learn how to play defense right out of nowhere, right? Like, this is something right here, man. Like, look, bro, why are you that far behind in the first place? This is what I want to know. Let's find out why he's that far behind in the first place. Because I got to know. Because people love to scream out, I got screamed, I couldn't get there. Bro, why are you that far behind? You shouldn't even be there. You should be taking a diagonal step toward me if you see him running here. You should be taking a lateral step toward me, and then if you see him commit to the run, you should loop around. Like, bro, you out of bounds! What are you doing? Like, come on, bro. And then right here, I see that you're beat. He's going to scream. I'm just trying to foul. I tried to foul again. I, I, I couldn't foul. Though. I tried to get a reach in. But he's running. Bro, what is he doing? He can trail him hard enough to try to help out. He... He got screened. Uh, like, why? Oh, my God. I feel like he could have gotten under this screen. If he'd been playing and play the right way from the beginning, you know, it, it would have worked. We both got there. Actually... We actually both got a decent contest off, but he's got that he's got that uh taking over, man. So it ain't nothing we can do. But anyway, like I said, if you wanna know, just like I said, two thousand IQ plays. And plus right there, I mean I, I can't blame him too bad because well I couldn't do anything because you know I can't move until he actually gets the ball. But like I said, if you got certain situations, there's certain situations you obviously can't do it all the time because they're gonna penalize you. I have no files. And it's a key point in the game. Right here, we actually lost this game. I think we were losing 10 to 6. Yeah, we were losing 10 to 6. Let me move. Let me show you this because y'all might be thinking that the score moved or something like that. We losing 10 to 6. And uh Boom. Cash. But I fouled him before it went up. They get no point. They have to take the ball back out. And I'm pissed off because uh yeah. My teammates are not playing defense. And obviously, the only thing I can do is reach because you can't move prior to him inbounding the ball. So I didn't get there. Hey, it is what it is. He was going to hit that shot anyway. He got to take over. And dude just blew his defensive side bit. But there is the point. What this video is about is what to do in certain situations. Use your files wisely. There's no point in taking if you're getting torched or there are situations where you can use them judiciously, there's literally no point in taking what, what coach say, five fouls back to the locker room or six fouls back to the locker room. You can't take them with you. You can't do nothing with them. I'm not saying just spam them and use them early or something like that, but in situations where you're going to give up big points, go ahead and use those fouls, man. You can't foul out the ball. Uh, the way that you do it, you hit circle on PlayStation or you hit B on Xbox or you just push them in the back or do whatever. Or you can hit um, right trigger or, or R2 
and uh, R2 in circle or right trigger in B. And you can just foul off the ball in certain situations. Like I said, don't try to spam it. Don't try to do it, but you, you, y'all know what to do. You know when to do it, man. Uh, right here, you just see me pretty much just raging because, uh, yeah. Oh, let me, let me, let me, let me fix this up real quick. Because uh, what you see right here is me just raging. Um, I am literally dumbfounded that. Let me do fit the screen. Transform. Fit the screen. I am literally dumbfounded at the fact that he ran out of bounds and did all of that. I know I was pissed. But it is what it is, man. Like I said, um, if you do it, you, if you if you do it right, you never have to worry about. You I mean you obviously you're gonna get fouls, but you don't have to worry about fouling now. And uh, if you don't foul a whole lot anyway, then it's nothing to worry about. I don't foul a whole lot, and uh, I just use these in key situations. And I can promise you, I have saved at least 10 to 20 points today just doing this, just fouling off the ball. And uh, like I said, you ain't got nothing to lose anyway. If you gonna hit the shot, you are gonna hit the shot. Sometimes you can you can check, make them take the ball up, and they can get two. Sometimes they might get three, but hey, who knows, man? Anyway. School is in session. I'm bringing you stuff like this every day. And, uh, you know, keep it up. And uh, the next video we're going to have is going to be the best bills video. We're going to drop it in the morning. But I'm out of here. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Hey, make sure y'all copy out some merch. If you bought merch, you'll have it by the end of the week, man. Holla at your boy, and I'm gone. Peace.